Alexis. So beat the streets here in Newark. First off, what borough are you from? The Bronx. The Bronx? Yes. Okay. So how long have you been involved with Beat the Streets? Um, I started wrestling in seventh grade and I got involved with Beat the Streets my eighth grade year. Eighth grade year, so five years now. Yes. Uh, you know, you're from the Bronx and there's a lot going on in the Bronx. Listen, I was in the Bronx last night after the Yankees game. I couldn't believe the scene in the street last night. It was insane. So I'm, I'm assuming every night of the week is probably a busy night of the week in the Bronx. Yeah. Is, that, is that a safe assumption? Yeah. So what do you think is the biggest thing that um, Beat the Streets did for you, keeping you off the streets in the Bronx and getting you focused on the sport of wrestling? I feel like, first of all, they got me through a, a remarkable wrestling journey, getting me through my injury. Um, and they always provided me opportunities, like resumes. I was able to build my resume through them. I was able to... Just a lot of like on and off the mat. Like it's it doesn't wait. It wasn't all just wrestling, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was all about like yeah. you said it was about life skills, yeah. it's about interview skills, job skills, not you know, more than just uh yeah. double liking someone and taking them down, right? <laughs> uh, biggest thing that you think you've taken away from it, whether it's the wrestling or whether it's the tutoring, whether it's the being organized, getting involved, what do you think the biggest thing biggest takeaway for you is? Like they mainly gave me a sense of belonging, and like I was able to create a family with them, so they got me through everything, supported me. Yeah. Today, you know, you got to talk in front of an arena of almost 10,000 people. Yeah. Um, that's not easy. It's not. Right? Um, you did a good job. The arena was helping you along with it, but you know, talking about you and talking about your journey, what do you think the biggest thing you want kids to see in the five boroughs? That you know that you, it's just a snapshot, right? We're, you're standing on an arena talking on a microphone. What do you think you want kids to take away, and what would you tell a kid who wants to get involved with beat the streets in the five boroughs in New York City? I will tell them to just go for it. Like, there's nothing to be nervous about. Like, any opportunity in front of you, just just take the opportunity, grow from it. Just take everything in life as opportunity, and yeah, like just. You get ready to, to prepare for life, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of that, what is the next step for you? I'm gonna be enrolling in Lehman College in the fall. Lehman gonna, College? Where's Where's Lehman College at? In the Bronx. And I'm in gonna the Bronx? major in psychology. Okay. And well, I'm, you're gonna do psychology. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, would you do graduate school, or will you go right into working in the field? I'm probably gonna go working in the field, and I'm also planning to get my master's eventually. Okay, master's. That's a big, big step, yeah. right? Has anyone in your family ever gone to college? Yeah. Who has? My parents, my siblings. So they, it's really important to them and they yeah, stress actually that. Yeah, my parents went to Lehman College. Did, where'd they go? Lehman College. Oh, they went to the same yeah. college? Yeah. And are they from the Bronx? Yeah. Nice. No, so my uh, mom is from Dominican Republic. Your mom's from the Dominican Republic. Okay. Um, what would you tell a kid, you know, what would you tell a young kid who's in sixth grade, fifth grade, who might be having a hard time with things, what would you tell them about what Beat the Streets can offer them? Um, i say try, try things, don't be scared to try anything, and just, I don't know. Do you think it's a confidence issue? Do you think it's like, if you can get confident and try new things, that then you can start to try Definitely. and do more things? Is there someone, is someone yeah. back here? Who we got back here? We got Bogey back here? <laughs> yeah. Bogey. <laughs> He's already on the internet, so I mean, don't don't, don't, don't do that. He's for moral support. He's for moral support. Okay. Um, I talked to Suleiman Ba. I saw him today, and um, he is going to Columbia. <laughs> That's different, That's right? Yeah. So he actually went away to a prep school, and then he came back. Do you talk to him? Does he tell you what his experiences outside of New York City have been? Or have you talked to anybody who's gone out and, you know, obviously Bogey's going to go to the Air Force. Have you talked to anybody who's got out of New York City and then come back? Have you talked to anyone like that? I feel like they're able to bring something. They're bringing, they're bringing some new stuff to teach the younger people. Also, like, when I've, I've been a part of Beat the Streets and I've been able to, like, learn things at Beat the Streets. And I was also a captain of my school, so I'll bring back the knowledge I learned at Beat the Streets to my school. So, that's good. Yeah, so good experience. I feel like it's just a knowledge thing. Like, you are able to change and, like, also inspire other people. Knowledge and give it back. Yeah. All right. Oh, I love it. Good luck at Lehman College next Thank year. You. Do you have anything else for me? Yeah, I'm just ready for the new beginning and see where life takes me as wrestling as my foundation. And, yeah. I love it. Will you wrestle beyond high school, do you think, at all? Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like I would sign up for tournaments. So you're gonna go? go, go and get I want to be a coach. You want to coach? Yeah. I love it. And, and be a, and have a psychology degree and help other people. Yeah. Love it. All right. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you moving forward. Okay. And safe travels back to the Bronx. Thank you.